it is only I'm, for them. Red I'm, line I'm looking at some yeah. data, and it's very interesting because uh, uh, in bipolar states, in which the Congress and the BJP are main competitors, uh, the gap between the two parties has widened considerably since 2009. And BJP has received nearly half of the OBC votes in 2004-2009 and the Congress won approximately 40%. And the OBC vote for the BJP in 2014 and 2019 increased to nearly two-third, while it declined for the Congress to roughly one-fourth in these states. So as far as the OBC politics is concerned, how do you look at that playing out in the immediate elections? Uh, Maria, the question of uh, the answer of your question would be, if you see the nature of OBC politics in India, it has remained always a non-Congress domain. Hmm. It's anti-Congress. If you remember the, the socialist age, when Ramanur Lohia was trying to mobilize OBC, the emergence of OBC politics in India is anti-Congress, non-Congress domain. So, uh, so it's a very difficult for Congress to enter in that. And on the other hand, they are trying hard. They are making it a, it a, it a big uh, issue in this election. On the other hand, BJP is coming in this election with, with a, a galaxy of OBC leaders who are coming from different linguistic zones. They have double privilege. To, uh, one as a OBC born leaders, other as a develop, developmentalist. Thirdly, the social welfare schemes who are beyond uh, working beyond caste. Yeah, uh, so you know that this, this beneficiary communities which Congress, BJP has created since nine years, and not only they have created beneficiary, every state political party creates beneficiary, but they have transformed it in a community and evolved a beneficiary consciousness. And that consciousness works with them with for the BJP uh, beyond caste. Uh, so OBC, EBC comes in that uh, beneficiary communities. Uh, Dalit and EBC in a big way. So in that way, what I see that for the Congress, it would be very difficult to enter in the OBC political realm, OBC mobilizational realm. And the, for the BJP, uh, retaining it would be a big challenge. Although BJP has an edge, BJP has, a, as I said, there are four points which I narrated to you. The, the leadership, the, the character of leadership, which is all India. Uh, in the BJP from different linguistic zones, not only Hindi region leaders. Uh, secondly, the but double is double privilege. I born as a OBC and developed leadership image, social welfare schemes, and Narendra Modi itself as a big symbol. So symbolic and substantial in both way, they have tried to mobilize uh, OBC in their politics. Okay. So socialist to BJP. Yes, and you can see so the turn of case, the, the OBC yes. mobilization. You've made an interesting point there.